Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to talk about the BG color function or background color function in PineScript that allows us to use a custom color or give a custom color to the background of the candles. For example, you can see that there is this kind of pin bar forming. So we can define or specify the conditions for the formation of this pin bar and change the background color of the chart for this pin bar or for example if you see any inside bar forming for example in this case here we can see the formation of an inside bar then we can change the color of this background color of this inside bar on the chart and to do that we're going to be using the bg color function in PineScript. so let's go ahead to the chart and here i'm going to first of all go ahead and we need to define the condition so let's say if i want to de detect an inside bar and the condition for inside bar would be the high and low of the latest candle should be below and above the high and low of the previous candle respectively so condition would be that high and high of one should be above the high or current high and the low of the one should be or the previous candle should be below the current low so this is the condition for the formation of an inside bar now let's say or let's go ahead and define a bg color or use the bg color function and here we're going to be using this color assigning this color based on this condition uh, if it's true then we're going to give it some color and if it's not then we're going to give it some other color so or we're going to not going to color it. so whenever there is the formation of an inside bar we're going to color it let's say blue so here to assign the color we're going to use a color argument and here i'm going to be using a ternary operator we can use the if function as well but here i'm going to be using the ternary operator so you, you'll get the chance to learn that as well so first of all we need to define our condition for example if our condition is true so i'm gonna go ahead and type that here that condition and then here i want to put a question mark that says if this condition is true then this whatever we define here will happen so we can go ahead and type in color dot blue and if not we can put a semicolon and then here we can define the condition that is when this condition is not true then this should happen so if in case if this condition is true then this will happen in case if this condition is not true then whatever we define here will happen so what we have said is if condition this condition is true then color blue should be assigned to this color argument but if this condition is not true, then no color should be assigned. So I'm going to go ahead and put NA here and then we can just save it and we can we'll be able to see what happens. So I can save it and I can add this to a chart. And here, wherever there is the formation of an inside bar, you can see the colors are being plotted or the background color is being changed for all the candles whose high is below the previous high and whose low is above the previous candles low so this is how you can use the bg color function now let's go ahead and look at its other parameters that are the second one is offset so we can offset this to the either forward or backward for example if i go ahead and put the offset to minus one then now these colors are going to shift from these candles to the previous ones for example if i save it you'll see that these are now shifted to the candles that are engulfing the latest candles so this is the offset color you can also offset it any number of bars you want to use and the next argument is the edit table do we want the user to be able to edit the background color inside the settings of this indicator and by default it's true but we can also set it to false and the next argument is show lost that is how many bars back do we want to show this background color for example if i just go ahead and type in show last for it it sets and defines the number of bars from the last bar back to the past 
to fill on the chart. So if, if I measure the number of bars for these candles here, for example, if I go ahead and say till the, here, the number of candles are 15. So I can go ahead and type in 15 and let's see what happens. So if I save it and you can see that now only these colors are being shown onto the chart and the next argument that we can use is the title and this title is used to recognize our color that we have defined for example if i say that this is the color for inside bar candle so we can just go ahead and say inside bar and i can save it and you'll see whenever i hover over to this you will be able to see that this is color for inside bar okay so this is the title of this background color inside the settings of our script as you can see here okay so this is another argument that we can use and the last one is the display argument and that is do we want to display this color color controls whether the beige color is displayed or not so there are basically display none or display all function by default it's display all but we can also set it to display none for example if i say display dot none dot none then you'll see that no color will be displayed onto the chart as you can see here but i can change it i can change this none value to other options that are available and those are we can use it to say display all and now all the colors that are detected will be shown let me just go ahead and remove this argument so that you can see on the chart all the inside bar candles that are forming by changing these background colors so this is how the bg color or background color function in PineScript works i hope you were able to understand and learn from this video and in our next video i'm surely going to be covering more functions in PineScript, and then we'll be moving on towards complex scripts i hope you like this video if you have any questions please comment down below i would love to answer them also don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.